said, if anybody kills me, it's Drake. And do you think that for one moment, here today, days after the event, he's killed by two masked men, right? He came out on social media and said, guys, before he dies, if anybody kills me, it's Drake. Do you think in that time, time span that they went and they addressed him, they talked to him? No. Do you think sitting here today, years later, any detective has ever asked, you know, Drake or, or anybody like that? No. They never did that. She's going to stand up, sit there, and she's going to tell you that the reason that she wanted security with Mr. Onfroy on the day that he was shot was because of the issues that he had with Drake and Mingos. She's going to tell you that. Bro told me, um, he was like, yo, the nigga Drake watched your interview. He said he fucked with you, and he fucked with your partner Ski Mask. He's like, yo. He's saying he go call your manager within the next few days. Okay. So I'm, I'm, bro, I'm amped up, nigga. I so contact your manager yeah. and then, what he, happened? He, I mean, he, he dropped the fucking video of previewing that shit in Amsterdam with some, with some, with some nigga from from the UK. You could you could take his verse like they did a mashup. They put his verse on my song, and they the cadence is literally just at the same tempo. You, it, it's not off beat at all. And you could if you listen to my song and then you listen to the bro song, like you, you could. Well, we we all Let's not dummy. Yeah, go. It's no SMS, triple X. That's the only time I ever shoot below the net. SMS, triple X. That's the only time I ever shoot below the net. Hey, yo, I'm just look. I'm looking for Triple X and Passion. Y'all seen it, nigga? No. Oh, I always love you.